Frank. Frank, Frank, I can't hear you at all. Just switch to channel 16, would you? No, I'm getting MTM on this. I am on the third. I said I'd be on the third. And look, put me through to Willie. Oh, is Willie there? Is anyone there? Involving Payne Stewart. Yeah, Payne Stewart. Apparently he's hit a ball and uh, some broad and uh, they, they, they want to they shoot him. So get your ass over there, will you? Will you? No, I can't hear you either. No, don't blame me. Blame the company. I'm in, I'm in his pocket. Yeah, I can hear you now, Frank, uh, making a martini, right? supposed to cut. Right in his pocket. So even with all modern technology, if I lose contact with Frank on Channel 16, I've lost contact with Frank. And anyone can lose a ball, but it's important for the modern player to know exactly where he is, especially here in sunny Scotland, home of the game of golf. If you lose your balls, never mind, but if you lose yourself, that's what counts. Here we are right here. Are we even spend too much time on the map because should we get lost by any chance we can always we can always resort to um, the, the, the flare which every golfer keeps uh, in his bag to to signal to those in control the flare the sex stand of course a wonderful old instrument the sex stand you just you just look through it and there you are right on the other end of it and uh, should the sex stand not uh, avail you anything the telescope. Again, we can peer through here and see every aspect of this beautiful moose-haunted fraternity of the veldt. And should that fail, if the telescope fails, we have the satellite dish. This little baby here. This little thing will boom me in right to the hotel, room 108, my favorite number. <laughs> Should have some wires on here somewhere, shouldn't it, Harry? Just to update you on the bug stats, uh, this little sucker is about one eighth of an inch long, and here we have a uh, young Spaniard, Jose Maria Olazabal, no doubt troubled by a three, 3.5 kilometer wind left to right, and uh, a number of bugs which, of course, dwell and hibernate in the water, such as this. Nobody's best friend. Of course, golf being that uh, strange, crazy game it is, the, the ball can literally land anywhere at all. It can land on the ground, as you see here, or it can land in the water, in which case the modern caddy comes fully equipped with this fireproof water equipment, this uh, beautiful rubberized titanium style wear. But of course, the ball can also fall in a little pothole anywhere you like. In which case, modern candy puts on the hard hat with a little electronic device and just goes looking after that little sucker as fast as he can. And should the ball fall into murky water, then we are reduced to the aqua lung and the wading boots. The modern caddy has no trouble just fitting into these. I, I find them a little difficult and they don't really match my costume as well as I would like. Now the uh, water temperature here is around 38 degrees Celsius and uh, the courage of the young Australian is quite admirable. It takes a, it takes a lot of a lot of guts to get in the water that filled with uh, filled with um, with gators, with uh, piranhas, with uh, all type of uh, mean creatures and, and John Daly here up to his knees in that most dangerous substance, water, which uh, is something which he has recently adapted to. They say that uh, trees are made of up to 90% air. Well, try telling that to young Gary Levinson from Europe, England, as he, as he attempts to struggle out of a position which uh, even Charles Atlas would find difficult to accommodate. 
because the rules are the rules and it's a jungle out here. So here we have the entire modern golfer's bag, the, the folding clubs, the irons, the woods, the shears, the, the old-fashioned ginty. Some of them like to use this old Norwegian club from way back when you had to hit the balls off fjords and hillocks and that kind of thing. And every golfer is superstitious in his own way, and here's a lucky rabbit's foot. Alas, the craftsman has not detached it from the rabbit, but that can be arranged later. I'll, get on to Dave about that particular aspect of the game. I remember in the old days, people played with live rabbits, which uh, was a tricky art. You have to get the rabbit right back behind the shoulder. Ledbetter still uses this as a, a training tool. Just swing the rabbit through the hips, around the body, over the shoulder, think of God, and stop at the bottom of your swing. Bad luck. Uh, many of players, such as Bernhard Langer, will average round about um, seven and a half hours or, or days to complete the round. And uh, Joachim Hageman from uh, that fine country of Sweden, he likes to reinforce his um, internal fiber with a mix of protein and uh, essential trace elements, such as the, um, I'll just get one here, we have it. The uh, old tried and trusty pineapple. Uh, pineapple, there's nothing so nourishing as a pineapple. And uh, the modern pro and the modern caddy carry the pineapple and the machete. Nothing beats the Teflon coated machete for just hacking into that pineapple. And then while Bernhard is lining up his shots, uh, you can just have a, a real good old chew of the, uh, of the uh, pineapple. Pineapple, I believe they call it in sunny old Germany. 